It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, at last year's finale, it seemed like COVID was fading, and I said we were about to have the horniest summer ever. <laughs> and now, summer's hottest STD is monkeypox. <laughs> That's how weird and bad things have gotten. The stock market is crashing, there's a war in Europe, everyone on This Is Us is about to croak. The future is looking pretty bleak. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to bring a child into the world right now. I mean, I just did, but don't worry, I've been hoarding baby formula. A recent report shows that Fox News host Tucker Carlson, seen here bragging about how big it is, <laughs> has repeatedly pushed the theory that Democrats want to replace white people with minorities. But that doesn't even make sense, because white people still exist. It's not like they suddenly turn into minorities, unless it's Halloween. <laughs> Dr. Carlson's got a lot of nerve pushing these wild conspiracy theories, because if he thinks the government has a secret plot to help minorities, well, he must be smoking that crack the CIA secretly put in black neighborhoods. <laughs> Representative Liz Cheney attacked the House GOP leadership, saying they've enabled white supremacy and anti-Semitism. House leadership rejected Cheney's attacks, calling them cheaper than a black rabbi. <laughs> Right-wing right -wing election denier Doug Mastriano, whose face appears to be photoshopped onto a hot dog, <laughs> won the Pennsylvania Republican primary for governor and said if he's elected, he would be so far to the right, he would make Ron DeSantis look like a centrist, instead of what DeSantis looks like now, my dad watching me in the school musical. <laughs> Elon Musk defended himself from allegations that he reportedly exposed himself to a flight attendant on his private jet saying, quote, if I were inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light. Ooh, sorry, we were looking for a simple did not do it. The answer was did not do it. <laughs> Republicans in Georgia are concerned that Donald Trump has endorsed candidates in the primaries who aren't qualified. For instance, his pick for attorney general is literally 90s action star Steven Seagal. <laughs> now, that's not true, but what does it say about Trump that you didn't doubt it for a second? <laughs> Rich parents across the country are reportedly stocking up on black market baby formula, which I assume is formula that was supposed to go to black markets. <laughs> Taylor Swift gave a commencement address at NYU's graduation ceremony this week because college is a lot like breaking up with Taylor Swift. You're still going to be paying for it decades later. <laughs> Former President Trump announced that he is writing a book about alleged voter fraud in the presidential election. The book will contain 8,000 commas and no periods. <laughs> Well, with COVID restrictions relaxing, many Americans are planning to travel abroad this summer. Here with his tips for romantic international getaways is a guy who just bought a boat. Wow, wow. Buongiorno, la cojo. Ah, molto bellissima. <laughs> Guess who's got two tickets to bump and thighs? Yes. <laughs> All right, man. I, I'm, I'm already regretting this, but uh, let's hear some of your travel tips. You got it, KJJ. <laughs> now, let's talk best plays to get the best lays on vacays, okay? Take your new girl to the old world. The south of France is perfect for mouth in pants. And if a nude beach is an appealing feature, head down to the French Skiviera to see Nice Cannes. Soon, She'll want you to be like Napoleon and bone her parts. I have a small penis. <laughs> but don't just stay in France, amigos. As many women have told me, you've actually got to move around down there. <laughs> so hop a train. Eurorail is your ticket to Eurotail. So many choice stops. Maybe try Berlin to reel her in. And before you know it, you'll be exploring her black forest and she'll be moaning in your ear, this is the worst thing to ever happen in Germany. <laughs> Oh my God, come on, man. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, I shall. Now, if no. you don't want to be an uggo americano, you got to blend in with the low calls, Jost. So grab a guidebook. And remember, Rick Steves leads to slick beeves. Oh. <laughs> And there's nothing scarier than a language barrier. A little Duolingo and you'll be doing lingus. <laughs> Mi jamón es muy pequeño. Your, your ham is tiny? Si, sí, abuelita. <laughs> Speaking of small servings, head to Barcelona and sample the local tapas or bounce over to the Amalfi Jost. We're talking Italy, okay? And to get your Bologna into some Pusitano, don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget about her Naples if you want her to... <laughs> if you want her to gobble goo. <laughs> oh, my God. So people, <laughs> people are, like, visibly sick. <laughs> Why would mean? any woman want to be with you? Well, I have to admit, Kojo, I have driven many a lady to the Isle of Lesbos. <laughs> oh, man. In my boat, Colin. Oh, yeah, guy who just bought a boat, everyone. Me pane as soon as... Paramount Plus announced they are making a new Yellowstone prequel series that will star Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren. The 79-year-old Ford will play a wealthy ranch owner, while the 76-year-old Mirren will play his grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> A new report shows that the state with the highest obesity rate in the country is Mississippi. It's gotten so bad, doctors had to remove its foot. <laughs> An attendant on a Frontier Airlines flight helped deliver a passenger's baby while heading to Florida. Because on Frontier, it's not even worth asking if anyone on board is a doctor. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth made a surprise public appearance this week at the opening of a new train line in London after Prince Charles tied her to the tracks. <laughs> it's not real. A painting by Pablo Picasso portraying his lover as a sea creature was sold at auction for $67 million. It's a beautiful abstract expression of his love and admiration that he named Titty Squid. They are growing... There are a growing number of nuns who are joining TikTok to show what life in a convent is really like. Because when the Catholic Church tries to connect with young people, it always goes well. <laughs> well, this will get you back. A <laughs> school district in Florida is investigating a picture posted online of students spelling out the N-word. It's a shocking instance of Florida students being able to spell. <laughs> Well, it's almost summer, and as the weather changes, so do styles and trends. Here to comment on what's in for summer are two trend forecasters. Well, thanks for coming back. I can see you're ready for warm weather. Yes. We had a meeting this morning with the sun. We typed what it told us into our big, throbbing computer. Here is the, the report. report. <laughs> our first category is summer, summer fruit, fruit trends. trends. In grapes with seeds. In tying cherry stem with tongue to impress for sex. In watermelon sugar song. <laughs> and out. Navel orange! Navel orange, ew! Why do you have belly button? You're a fruit! What's next? Honeydews with C-section scars? <laughs> Navel, Navel orange, got a bad, bad bitch! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you guys always have to yell? Because if we whisper, no one listens! <laughs> Category is greeting, greeting trends. trends. In hey. In Catherine. In <laughs> in. Come on in, guys. Welcome to Hooters. And out. <sighs> this is 
is your captain speaking. Huh? No, you're flying a plane, not hosting a podcast. You're a pilot. Captains are for boats, you sky bitch. <laughs> By the way, your girl workers are giving me vodka back here. We're having an amazing time without you. <laughs> Go to bed, bitch. Are you, are you guys okay? Are you okay? Because the next category is here. Time trends. In 3.25 p.m. In about 10 to 15 minutes. In midnight when you turn to pumpkin. And out when the kitchen is closed. When the kitchen's closed? Well, how interesting. I can see people moving around back there. All I want is a complicated dish that's not on the menu, and I'm allergic to Everything. The kitchen's closed. Go to bed, bitch. Yeah. I, I, I love when you guys come, but I never understand anything you were saying. Well, good. Then just enjoy the view, Mr. Che. And pay attention to future trends in ten nice years. In a friend I couldn't have done this without. And whoa. <laughs> Look who's back in. It's Naval Orange. We love you, girl. Congratulations, <laughs> Naval Orange. Yeah. Well, wait, and, and so what's going to be out in the future? Well, Michael, the computer has ousted three trains. And you know they have to be evicted to hell. Out is Pretty Little Bouquet. Expensive Tiara. And Michael, Michael Che! No! But I'm just hearing something new is in. In my best guys kissing me. Well, then we must. Green mm. <laughs> forecasters, everybody. Love you. Andy Bryant. A manager of an Arby's in Washington, this is a terrible transition. <laughs> a manager of an Arby's in Washington has been arrested for distributing child porn. If convicted, he could face up to 20 years as a manager at Subway. <laughs> the man also told police that he urinated in milkshakes for his own sexual gratification. Authorities became suspicious when they noticed the milkshakes tasted better. Arby. We have the PP shakes. <laughs> a, Cal <laughs> a California hiker who was attacked by a mountain lion said that her dog saved her life by jumping to her defense. Because after the dog, the mountain lion was way too full to eat anything else. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> A British woman discovered when she got pregnant that she had a second tiny vagina. Uh, yeah, da butt. <laughs> a woman in Maryland graduated from college a day after her 82nd birthday. Apparently, it took her so long because she's very, very dumb. <laughs> I'm doing another one. A woman in Maryland graduated from college a day after her 82nd birthday, but I heard they only passed her because her roommate died. <laughs> well, guys, it is the final episode of the season. Here to talk about it is Pete Davidson. <laughs> Colin and Che and millions of people only watching to see if I bring up Kanye. Yeah, Pete, you've, you've had a weird year. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I just, uh, I never imagined this would be my life, you know? I mean, look at me when I started here. Like, back then, I was just like a skinny kid and no one knew what race I was. <laughs> and like, now everyone knows I'm white because I became hugely successful while barely showing up to work. <laughs> and like, look at me now, I'm aging like an old banana. And Colin still looks like the only Kennedy who doesn't drink. 
<laughs> Thanks, Pete. Thanks. So, so are you officially leaving? Yeah, man. Lauren accidentally gifted me a sock, so I'm free. Has a lot changed since you started here? A lot has changed. In three years, uh, Fox News went from calling me a monster uh, for making fun of Congressman Dan Crenshaw's eye patch, to also making fun of Dan Crenshaw's eye patch. <laughs> Tucker Carlson called him Eye Patch McCain. That's two veterans in one insult. Jeez, Colin, your dad's a dick. Uh, actually, actually, Pete, I, I'm not related to Tucker Carlson. Well, I learn something new every day. <laughs> But in fairness, though, uh, to what I originally said, because clearly it still bothers me, uh, I, what I was saying, I was simply making a joke about someone's appearance without realizing that the medical condition behind it was a sensitive issue, which is an SNL alumni tradition. <laughs> <laughs> Here, on one hand, I don't like that people think they could just run up on stage and hit a comedian. But on the other, it's how I know all my shows will now be sold out. <laughs> Pete, is there, is there anything you're going to miss about this place? Oh, yeah. Lauren, for sure. He's amazing. He's led us through the COVID era, even though the only time he wears a mask is at his eyes wide shut parties. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sure. Yeah. They got there. He, uh, he always gives the best advice, really. This is all true advice that Lauren's given me. Um, I'll never forget this. I, I called him and said, uh, when I got engaged, I said, Lauren, I just got engaged to Ariana Grande after dating for two weeks. And he said, oh, hold on for dear life. <laughs> it's a true thing he said. <laughs> and then I remember when I auditioned for SNL, he looked me right in the eye and said, I don't know, if, uh, I don't think you're right for this show. So let's screw this up together. <laughs> And that's exactly what we did. And that's why people who don't think I deserve this job shouldn't hate me since we have so much in common. Like, if anything, I should inspire hope, you know, like that literally anyone could be on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Seriously, you see a guy bumming cigarettes outside of 7 Eleven at 2 a.m.? That's not some meth head. That's the next Pete Davidson. Well, I I'm going to miss you, Pete. Oh, well, thanks, Colin, even though I know it says that on your cue card. <laughs> You've been like an older brother to me in that, uh, you know, in the way that my mom openly loves you more than she does me. <laughs> and I appreciate SNL always having my back and allowing me to work on myself and grow. And, you know, thank you to Lauren for never giving up on me or, you know, judging me even when, like, everyone else was and for believing in me and allowing me to have a place that, like, I could call home with the memories that'll last uh, a lifetime. So thank you, guys. Pete Davidson, everyone. We can update on Congress.